In this experiment, we will examine 42 sounds and see if the exact Czech sounds can mirror into English. Ahoj, milé studentky a milí studenti. I was watching the definition of graphemes and phonemes and this gave me an idea that perhaps it could be useful for you to have a comparison between uh, Czech and English phonemes. Because when I was reading these definitions, suddenly it occurred to me that perhaps you are already using nearly 90% of um, the Czech phonemes in English. It would just be an experiment. I don't know what the exact uh, result would be. Let's at least uh, try it. Because you inspire me. I was uh, reading uh, some comments on uh, my first video where people complain that on Wikipedia are there are more letters than I was actually giving in the video. But perhaps it's precisely because of the difference between graphemes and phonemes. Because in Czech I was taught only 31 letters. A B, C, Š, D, E, F, G, H, I, G, L, M, N, O, B, Q, R, S, 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 T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Z. And that was all. And on Wikipedia there are 42 letters or perhaps phonemes. I mean graphemes. But in this experiment we will examine 42 sounds and see if the exact Czech sounds can mirror into English. Because when you see the graphemes, for example, U, Y, Ch, D, you think we don't have this, so will I be able to do it? But if you hear the same sounds you will be using in your learning. Perhaps you will say to yourself, wow, easy. This I have, I know this, I can do this sound. So I just need to learn the correspondence, the, the, uh, the convention. So thank you for inspiring me. I feel motivated to go the extra mile. And uh, I didn't tell you, but for this exercise we would need an English, a native English speaker. Without her or him, it wouldn't be possible, okay? Because you know my accent is not really the good English accent. But I can guarantee you my Czech accent is a real Czech accent. Are you ready for this exercise? So. Wish me luck. I'm going to bring, hopefully, the English speaker. So 
couldn't find him. So I believe I will just forgot about it and drink Becherovka. Hello. Welcome, madame. May I have a little glass of Becherovka, please? Oh, sorry, madame, but we don't do that here. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I do, forgive me, I do, but I'm so sorry. I want you to wear it down. I do. Are you English? Absolutely. Hi. <laughs> So here he is, my catch. First, we will give the name of the letter, then the Czech example, and then the English example. Let's start. Please be aware we are talking about phonemes and not graphemes. First one is A, as in Jana, Hanna, Astra Pasta. Okay, so balance Rosa Avocado Advert. Second is A, Dlouhe A, A s čárkou, as in Kráska or Láska. Okay, so Prague, uh, start, bath. B or B, as in ballet, bulbets, battery. Okay, so B, ballet, battery, box. The list is endless. Mm -hmm. C. Citron. Cisterna. Not a usual sound in English. Mm, I can't really think of a word other than... Tetsi fly. Tetsi fly? Mm. Tetsi. Tsi. Cisterna. Yes, it works. Tetsi. Okay. I can't think of any other words. Mm -hmm. Then we have ch, as in český, Czech, čočka, čardáš. Ch is quite a common sound. Czech, cheap, chap. Well, Czech is not cheap, but okay. No, of course not. Chess, and my favourite, cheese. <laughs> You are not French, though. No, but I like cheese. De, doom, dock. Mm. Doom, dock, the same. Then we have the sound d, which we can hear even if it is not written, but the phoneme is here. The phoneme is here. It's the sound of D as in dítě, dobanec, dělat, děkuji. Hmm. In English that's not really a sound, even though it's quite subtle. Maybe in the word schedule, the D there, but very rare to find that sound in English words. Schedule. Dělat, dítě. Yes, so as you have heard, it's not exactly the same sound, but if you pronounce dítě, dělat, dobanec, as in the sound d in schedule, which is a difficult word for me, it will be okay. E, as in pes. E? As in pet, 
It's a multitude of words that have the sound eh. Or pesky. Pesky or pest. Then the sound e, dlouhé e, e s čárkou, as in era or mléko. So it's the same e sound but a little longer. So maybe a word like rare, bare, fair. Again, a multitude of words with that slightly longer e sound, e. So what we are doing here is the equivalence of sounds and we are talking only and exclusively about sounds and not about graphemes, not about letters. In Czech we talk really about letters and sounds, so graphemes and phonemes, but what you hear from the English side are only phonemes because of course e as in era or mleko has nothing to do in the transcription as in rare or bare or bare. fair. Yes. In fact fair doesn't even contain the letter e. Yes but we can still hear the sound absolutely and this is what we are talking here about right mm. the letter y or i as hachkem as in piet again would be a very rare sound in english the only word i can think of where it might be replicated would be the word yet which has a very similar sound yet yet Yet. This is good. This is exactly the sound we need. Then F, as in forum, Fivka, Philip. Yes, F again, a very common letter, sound. Uh, forum, fake, football, France. Again, the list is endless. Then we have G, as in gram, grammatica. Yes, the same in English, gram, grammatical. Grandma, g, grandma, grandmother. Yes. Granny. Or nan, oh, it was a joke. The next is ha, as in hop, husky. Horus, Hora, sorry. Similarly, hop, husky, house, hello. H is the next one, as in an angry cat, <laughs> or chobotnice, chobot, chochol. So in English, this isn't really a sound as such. Perhaps the Scottish word for lock, as in the Loch Ness, they would pronounce it loch, as in there's a wee beastie in that there Loch Ness. Yes, this is pretty good. Mm. Thanks. Mnieke i, as in Pinkerton, Irma, Iglu. Okay, so. Idiot. Idiot indeed. Pinkerton, yes. Pig, Iglu, innocent, any number of words. Mm. A very common English sound, I. 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 Dlouhé I. Dlouhé měkké I. I s čárkou. I. Pískat, pípa. Perhaps in English, peanut, which doesn't contain the letter I at all. Meek, the same, doesn't contain that letter, but it has the same phoneme. Weekend. Ah, yes, weekend in Czech. Weekend. Weekend. 
No, we can't. We don't have what. This is for animals. What, 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 what? We have v, and if there is a w, we will pronounce it dvojteve for the name, but we will pronounce v. That's why the cars BMW for us it's a nonsense. We will say BMW. Okay. As if it was a single V. Funny. Wonderful. Funny. Yes. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> it's the reality. Let's face it. Y. Y. As in Jana. Jonas, Jahoda, Ja. You, yours, yesterday, yes. K or ka, kava, kolo, kočka, kočkodan. Very common letter with a very common sound. K, K for key. I'm trying to think there. Uh, Kestrel, the bird. Cacao. Pardon? Cacao. Cocoa. Ah, cocoa. But the important sound there is in English, the K ah. is known, I think they call it a kicking K. Kicking K. Whereas the other K sound can come from the letter C. Mm, yes, it's so nothing to do. Okay. As in cocoa. Hmm. L or L. Laska. Two of my favourite things, love and lust. Okay. Um, M of matka. Mother. Mouse. Monday. N. Nos. Nose. Nice. Nuts. Nuts. <laughs> After N is the letter Ny. N, Ny. As in Nemets or Nyoma or Nemi. New York. New York is a city. Mm. Yes. In, Big one. Yeah. Nearly as Prague, but okay. Not really, but maybe when we say the word new, it sounds as though it's ny, New York. Oh. But then it could equally be pronounced New York. Depending yeah, upon yes, the but country. still we can hear it. So mm. if, you, if you produce the sound ny, as when you are saying New York, I believe it will be okay in Czech. I could also say, I knew New York very well. And there's the first word, new, begins with a K. Oh. Strange English like K. K N E W, new. Ah, I yes. knew you very well. Yes, yes, yes. New. That's true. New. I knew that New York was a city. Absolutely. Nj, nj, nj. This is the sound. O, oh, as in horky. Hot. Horrible. Honest. The 24th letter is O. Dlouhé O. O s čárkou. As in uh, gall. Okay, so this is like a double O sound, which sometimes can be as in the word door. I opened the door mm -hmm. and I saw a book. So the same letters creating now two different sounds. Yes, but. As an example as to how it can You are change. talking about different phonemes. Hmm. phonemes. Mm. Yes. So let's pass to another letter to be on the safe side. P, P, as in Praha, Petr, Poesie. An extremely common letter. P, P, 
poetry, Peter, Prague. Gwe, as in Gwasar, Gwido, Quantum, Gichot. But to be honest, we pronounce it as Ga. Yes, this grapheme corresponding to the phoneme, we don't have the correspondence, I believe. We just know that it exists. It's the part of the Czech alphabet, but it occurs only in, um, in words of foreign origin. So the phoneme we're looking at here is k. k no, k or we, k we say kv, because the Czech ear uh, is unable to hear it or we don't reproduce this. I don't know how to explain so it. So in English this, this sound is not reproduced at all. Kvasar. That's not kv, there's no kv there. So why do we have it? I have no idea. So <coughs> there is no Czech word. So you know what? Let's make it simple. You will not use it often. Only if you have a friend called Kvido, and then you can as well write it with... Uh, oh. Kv is a very rare sound. I can't think of anything off the top of my head in English. Kv, no. Maybe. But you say quantum, quantum. Well, that's qua. Quantum. Not que, not kv, qua. Quasimodo. How, how and there's lots it? of qu quasimodo. Quasimodo. Quantic, quantas, quickly, quiet, queen. Mm. But that's not quite the sound that kv makes. We must remember this sound is a little bit tricky. So now comes next the Spanish r, as in Rubin, Robert. Rabat. In normal spoken English, we don't tend to roll our R's. Perhaps the Scottish accent may well reproduce the R sound. Robert the Bruce. But certainly not in English. It would be uh, the hard R, R. And then there is the famous R, as in Řeřicha or Řetkvička or Říkat. Ř. This isn't a sound that you would find reproduced in English. S or S as in sin. Yes, in, in a multitude of words. Son, Sunday, Samsung, whatever. Samsung, we say this as well. Then Sh, sheep. Sheep, shoe, shop, shilling. Shilani means crazy. Then the sound t or t. So I believe in English we don't say t, we say t. We do say t. Television, today, tomorrow. Toast. Yes, t, but not t. We say it hard, very hard. You say it a little bit uh, wet. Okay, well. I cannot say TV. I say TV. You see the difference? T -t. There is more wind in it. What do I say? TV? Yes, you say TV, not TV. Tomáš. Tomato. Tomata. Okay, it's very subtle. It's subtle but it's slightly different. Then we have t, t or tes hachken, as in tjapka, tisk, tikat. So this is t followed by a vowel like u, where you would have t, t, Tuesday. That's Tuesday, Tuesday. Tubular. Tuesday. Again, it's very subtle. Can you say it again? Tuesday. Tubular. U. Ulice. Ula. 
So this will be reproduced by the double O sound. Look, book, took. I took a look at a book. Then U, dlouhé U, U s čárkou, as in U or U. Okay, so again it's subtle, double O, pool, fool, stool. Stool, indeed. U s kroužkem, as in sůl, vůl. Again, it's a very subtle, the sound is there in pool, fool. V, Viktor, velký. Yes, Victor, volcano, veracity. It's difficult to think of words when you want to, but. Devoita uh, ve. For us, as I said, there is no difference. B and V. Varsava, Vetse. Well, for me, of course, I drive a BMW. Um, W words. Which model, if I may? Nice one with red leather. Oh. I like cars. Sorry, I've lost the thread now. Vicina. Uh, it's the same sound as the previous lot. Volcano, Victor, Vikan. X. Maximum. Existovat. Xenia. Maximum, exist, exit. So, kve, uh, dvojteve and x are not really uh, letters which you will find in Czech, 100% Czech words, but very often in, uh, in words of foreign origin. 39, y as in, or tvrdé i, as in y, Ivona, syn. No difference between i and i. Yvette, no, scrap that. What's the sound again? I, the same as i. So the million, i, 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 igloo, innocent. Imka. Irrigation, imka, imka, no, that's nothing to us. Um, idiot. Yes, but okay. So, I, as we said before, there is no difference when taken in itself. Number 40 is E. Dlouhé Y. Y s čárkou. Dlouhé tvrdé E. As in Deem. Same in English. Deem. Deed. Feet, e, yeah, very common sound. Forty-one, z, z, as in zo or zoro. Zoo, zeppelin, zombie. Forty-two, j or jet, jupan, jumpa. We don't really have j. It may be in some foreign words like. Place names such as Beijing or a game of Mahjong, um, Jean Valjean, but uh, I can't think of anything in English where it would naturally occur. So, as you can see, the Czech shouldn't be and won't be a problem for you. You can do it, but really, you can do it. What, what do you think of this, this uh, discovery? We, we, it was an experiment, this is the result. Because I will tell you, consonants without equivalence, initially I have um, listed C, D, R, Z, D and H. So six, but I believe we can, after the experiment, narrow it down to two. R 
and Usher. I agree. If I was in Scotland, I would agree. So, you have only two aliens, R and R, and so the learning will be much more easier for you knowing this. I agree. Okay, so dear students, thank you for your attention. Dear English native speaker, native English speaker, mm. thank you for your My kind help and brzy naschledanou. Allow me to introduce myself. Yes. My name's Gary. Oh, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. I'm so lost.